My name's Johnny, and I make games. Terrible games. Horrible, horrible games. However, today is part two of looking through old Game Jam entries. The Game Jam is called Ludum Dare, and it was 48 hours, or two days, non-stop, to produce a playable game based on a theme that is usually announced on the Friday. This theme was, for this one, I think it was called, oh here we go, yeah. You only get one. That's what this is. I'm just going to show you what I made for 2013's entry into Ludum Dari. And that was a ta cat in a tank firing potatoes and forks. Because that seemed like a rational thing. And then also, the tank is a giant vacuum cleaner, so it sucks the potato and the fork back into the barrel. I think this is unusual in that it's the only entry I've ever made for Ludum Dare that isn't a platform game, so I guess that's um, I guess it's got that going for it. Uh, but yeah, um, I guess I'll explore the old files and see what's in there and uh, see if I can figure out how I did it. And then, uh, yeah. I completely forgot to actually explain what I was doing here, so I'm looking through the folders to try and find the earliest file in there to see like the first version of the game. And as it happens, I found not one but two completely different games that never made it to be published that uh, I guess I abandoned in the first day, so this is quite interesting. Ah. <laughs> I completely forgot I made this. Um. <laughs> um. I don't know why, but I thought I could make a ragdoll cat on a skateboard. Uh. Cat, let's see what's, what's this one then. Hmm. Looks like I went through several, several um, ideas. Oh. Oh, I see. So you get one bullet. I guess I didn't go with that idea either. Interesting. Well, must have had a busy first day. Okay, so this must be the one where. Okay. So the prototype. It doesn't move. Okay, so it just <laughs> it goes straight from. Uh, nothing to then a pretty much fully fledged game. I guess I didn't do incremental saving at this point so I was living dangerously. So I fire a potato, oh just non-stop potatoes, okay. Then you can't fire backwards. Okay. Strayed somewhat from the theme here. So what's what's the actual level? Oh, right. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is where we have a fork and a potato, and this is I've actually had the mechanic to collect the tuna. I guess. Oh yeah, there you go. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can just drive the tank off so the cat can never get in the tank. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. Uh, that's weird. Oh, I still fire. I've got a fork ammo. Oops. Can, no. So I've still got the fork ammo, but it doesn't actually spawn forks, it just fires potatoes and infinite potatoes. So when did I add the. So I think, 
and see. I think until this point I hadn't actually added a. Uh, oh, that's not working. Whoa. I hadn't added a win scenario, but I think I did in this one. Okay. Well, I, I <laughs> didn't even notice that. Well, that's very subtle. Oh, blimey. Oh yeah, I remember now. So, yeah, it didn't really go with the theme because you're supposed to take just one. If I'd have had it just with the potato, it probably would have been more on on, uh, on theme. But I did like the mechanic of the two different ammo types. Um, it doesn't make any sense at all. But I like that the Fork just sticks in stuff. I wonder. Oh, that doesn't work. So that would have been cool if you had the fork when it was stuck in something, imparting force on that thing it was stuck on. I wonder if I can add that. I'm just gonna modify this because I'm pretty sure that'd be pretty cool if I did that. Change the animation and see if that works then. Okay, got an idea. So I'm going to go for each crate. Then I'll say another sub event. Uh, oh, another condition. Then is overlapping another object we'll say is overlapping fork hit and let's just do another thing another condition compared to values so just do create new ID. Then we'll compare that to the pinned UID, like so. And then we'll test if shift is down and that fork is pinned. And then we'll apply a force. I'll set the animation to hit like so. So fingers crossed. Uh, should work. So just fire off the potato and then fork. Oops, like so. Ah, oh, yes. collisions with crates. Pretty cool. I do like the health bar. 
the thing that's my <laughs> one of my favourite things about this is the health bar. Everything else is kind of janky, but that's kind of cool the way um, <clears throat> when he takes a point of damage, the block sort of kind of fades out. But yeah. Well, anyway, that that was um, that was Ludendare number. I can't remember now. 28, so that was Ludum Dare number 28. Well, so there you go, yeah. That's another one. <laughs>